Okay, guys, so we left uh, off on the potato war. Now we're going the to go on. The potato SP. war is finished. During the war, another series began on Techno's channel. He had been invited to join the biggest Minecraft SMP series ever, including upwards of 100 other YouTubers playing on a small scale replica of the real world. This marks the beginning of SMP Earth. Yes. Now we December 1st, 2019. Technoblade uploads his first SMP Earth video titled SMP Earth The Empire Begins. With a plan of world domination, Techno began gathering resources. After exploring much of the land in Africa, gathering all he could find, he traveled to Antarctica, which he claimed as the mainland of his empire. Okay. Techno began to recruit allies such as Filza and Voice Over Pete, defending the land against any threat that had entered. This day marked the beginning of the Antarctic Empire of SMP Earth. Okay, Roughly two so weeks later, Antarctic Techno and Filza began to take action. Using planes, the two started claiming a large perimeter one chunk at a time for their faction. This ultimately resulted in the Antarctic Empire claiming nearly the entire map. This conquest of roughly 70% of the map angered many of the other players on the server, and caused another creator, Wilbursa, to hold a trial. After some deliberation, a new set of laws were formed. Techno's plan of world domination would have to wait. One week later, the Antarctic Empire was thriving. No conflicts had arisen, until one man threatened it all. A new danger was about to face Techno and his allies. And okay, maybe not the most dangerous person. And so began a time known. Maybe not the most. Wait, let me see. Techno and his allies. Let's tell me in there. Okay, maybe not the most dangerous person. And so began a time known as the Battle of the Bridges. As the Antarctic Empire expanded into new lands, a bridge was constructed to connect their expanding territories. An outsider, Tommy Yenon, traveled this bridge in an attempt to assassinate the leaders of the Antarctic. Assassinate? They were forced to fight back, starting a war. After a long while of fighting on the bridge, the battle was over for the time being. Techno then enlisted help from Wilbur and traveled to find Tommy's new bridge. Did Techno Once say, Tommy had spotted the two at his bridge, the battle resumed. The combat continued, taking them all around the world until no winner was crowned. The yeah. battle had gone on too long. Tommy's faction, Business Bay, had agreed to sign a peace treaty with the Antarctic. After careful negotiation, the treaty was burned. They burned it. <laughs> that the war so between funny. Business Bay and the it's Antarctic so Empire therefore continued. The final violent meeting between the factions began when Tommy challenged Techno to a battle. This did not go well for Tommy as he ended up dying multiple times. After being drop kicked by Technoblade, Tommy led him to a desert where he had set a pit trap. Of course, Techno suspected the trap and did not fall victim to it. Tommy later explained that his plan was to let Techno kill him several times before leading him into the trap and killing him. Unfortunately for Tommy, only the first part of his plan worked. Tommy and Technoblade continued to 1v1 in the desert, resulting in Tommy dying an additional three times. A 3v3 battle then followed this. The teams were Techno, Sneeg, and Filza, versus Tommy, Sylvie, and Grunk. Technoblade and his team ended up winning by a long shot. To try and end the chaos, Tommy and it made an attempt at giving the speech. Long story short, this ended in Tommy's death. Ooh. Again. Tommy Inna and Technoblade agreed to sign a treaty called the Treaty of Da Pit. At long last, the war was over. This marked the end of Techno's SMP Earth videos, leaving both sides neutral. Technoblade, having won every single battle, was undoubtedly the winner. Minecraft Championship won. Shortly after the disaster of an ending to Minecraft Mondays and in the midst of Minecraft Saturdays, which never really took off the way Minecraft Monday did. A new, completely original event was announced known as Minecraft Championship. This event put a completely new spin on the classic minigame style and posed itself as a fun, light-hearted event in contrast to the intense competition of Minecraft Mondays. This attracted Technoblade to participate in the event over Minecraft Saturdays, which would ultimately prove a good decision as Minecraft Saturdays ended only a few months later while Minecraft Championship is still running today. 
Technoblade joined Minecraft Championship on their second tournament, which took place on February 9th, 2020. His teammates included S Major, Wilbursoot, and Gamerbury. Okay. Their team did well, just not well enough to secure the win. By the end of week one, their team placed fourth overall out of 10, and Techno landed third place on the solo leaderboards with 3,669 points, only 100 behind Quig, who placed first. A respectable performance, but nothing compared to his fear-inducing performances during Minecraft Monday. Techno wasn't satisfied. The next event did not go much better. His team peaked at 4th place and ended the event in 5th. Although, Techno did considerably well individually scoring 4th place with 2,700 points. With two okay performances under his belt, Techno was looking for a breakout week. To keep his reputation, he needed a win and along came Minecraft Championship 4. This week, Techno's team included three other creators he knew well from SMP Earth, Wilbursoot, Filza, and Tommy In. His team was stacked, and going into the event, they were very confident they would win. The first game of the event was Skyblockle. Subscribe to Things started out slow when Wilbur walked off the map. However, Tommy made up for it by purling in on a team and pulling in two kills. Soon after, Techno got a trident with loyalty and went on an absolute rampage. Wiping out team after team, Techno and Tommy combined for 14 kills, winning the game and securing first place after round one. Game number two was big sales at Buildmark. Techno died a few times, Tommy and Filza argued like a married couple, and their team finished third. Next up was survival games. They had a similar start to Skyblockle with Tommy in it being the first player eliminated of the whole game. The game progressed slowly, but Techno was able to kill James Charles. Yeah, that James Charles. Due to the city layout, many teams were able to find shelter in buildings. This led to an epic final battle between the last 25 people that would decide who won the game. Through kill stealing, cleaning, and getting stuck in cobwebs, Techno managed to finish with 5 kills and their team placed 3rd overall. Game number 4 proved to be one of their best. These were the highlights of To Get To The Other Side. Oh, I just fell off. First, Tommy in second. The 1,000 Bedwars win streak was all for this. <laughs> Gotta be his best oh, Tommy win these. Third. <laughs> Third. Oh. Whoa. Bro, we've got him first every time, I think. First, third, 13, four. Dude, we're killing it. Red rabbits, not on those leaderboards. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Good day. Second place! Yes! Yes! Second place, second place. Oh. Eighth. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is this, Who is this audience member named te Techno, techno sucks? sucks? Who put this it's in the not game? True. Excuse me? Why is I'm a squid kid in this? Fourth. And fifth, good enough. And Techno Blade MVP. Woo! Standing strong in first place going into the fifth round, things were looking promising. The next round would be audience takeover, meaning the viewers got to vote on a Twitter poll what game would be played next. After an extremely close vote, Techno got the game he wanted. Rocket Spleef. After Tommy said, Just killed a woman, feeling good. <gasps> and Philza carried, they got second and moved on to game six. This was BattleBox. They got off to an amazing start, winning five games with nearly max points. But in match six, their closest rivals, the Red Rabbits, beat them by distracting Tommy, who is the only one with a sword, leaving Techno alone in the middle. They went on to lose one more match, finishing seven and nine, keeping their first place position overall in the tournament. In Hole in the Wall, something happened that clinched their position in the final duel. With a second place player, so it's fine. How did I glitch through that? I'm hacking. Yes! Thank you, America! I just got 500 points. That's way too much. That's yeah, way too much. much. 30 seconds. We got this. Oh, yes! 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 
Oh, we're a thousand one hundred ahead of second. Oh my god, dude, it's worth way too many points. <laughs> Look at that leaderboard. <laughs> After pulling second in Parkour Warriors in game eight, it was finally time for the final duel. Dodgeball. Oh, they're take. Oh, they're giving it to Vic. Okay, kill Vic. He's there. He's the guy actually shooting. Got one, I got one. Wait, did they get me and Tommy at the same time? Yeah. Also, I got Vic. Oh. Okay, nice. there we go. Nice. Oh. Nice. Come on. 2v1. But he's got both. He missed. You get it? Nice. Oh. oh. Hey, we win these. That's one. That's one. That's one. One. one more round. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. To lure shots. Nope. Oh, they're going for me, man. They know the strat. Nice. 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 Oh, mm. I hit the wrong one. Yeah, you got oh, it's up to you guys. Oh, wait, I got both. Yeah. Just nice. shoot Vic. Yes. yes we good. win Minecraft that's championships. Oh, we win. We win. Techno had finally done it. His Woo! team dominated the event and he placed number one on the individual yes! leaderboards by over 1,000 points. Living up to his reputation as being one of, if not the best player in the game. However, over the next two months, another player would run. Alright, so that was Minecraft Championships 1 through 4, The Legend of Technoplate. If you want to see more videos like this, view the video, and most importantly, like and subscribe.